Hmm? Yes? What? Oh yeah, the tanks. Ah. I should have put in part one, shouldn't I? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Magnetic fields. Magnetic field. Burrito or shawarma? Shawarma. No, 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 the burrito's a nice one. A nice. Chicken one? I like the all meat mixed one. It's a good burrito. See, today is my last day I can have it because for Lent I'm not having any meat. Oh, wow. That's so, huh? Oh, yeah. No meat for Lent. So I'm going to treat myself. Maybe I could have a burrito and a shawarma. Why all in? Why not? Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. A magnet. Obviously, you've seen these before in your life. Um, so we talked about electric fields, but the magnet also has a magnetic field around it. And the magnetic field is the area around a magnet in which there is a magnetic force. Um, now, I don't think you need the whole definition. Oh, you might actually. Oh, I think that should be enough. You, guys, just before you write this down, you don't absolutely need, you don't really need the middle sentence for this definition. You could just say, the magnetic field is the area around the magnet in which there's a magnetic force. Magnetic fields can usually be seen by what's called a magnetic flux line. I'll talk about this in a moment, okay? So if you want, you can put the middle sentence in brackets. Okay. Let me just sorry I'll go back now. You got that? So I'm just going to fix my little definition here. And just put this into brackets. Okay. Do you have that Lynn? It's okay, you have it, Lynn? Okay, so look. Here is a picture of the flux lines. These are called the flux lines, and they show the magnetic field. And you probably have seen this picture before in um, middle school. So the magnetic field starts at north and it goes around to south like that. And we can feel this magnetic field if we had another magnet. You know, so if I was to bring a north to the north here, what would I feel? Repulsion. A repulsion. Yeah. Now, does anybody know how they get this picture? Do you remember this from middle school? This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the other way, which I like, is you put lots of little compass oh, yeah. on the on the table, and all the compass they turn, they line up here. Um. So, we're. We have a couple of ways. I think the other one with the iron, iron, iron violence, sprinkle on some paper and put the magnet under yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, you can, you can see this. 
Um, they sometimes ask you to draw this in the exam, so if you can copy that. This is for a bar magnet. Do any of you watch Parasite? I think it's called Parasite. The movie? PD? Wait, what? The pa Parasite? Or Paradise? Paradise PD? It's a cartoon? No. Oh. One of my science students recommended it to me because they know I like Rick and Morty. And I was watching a clip of it on YouTube last night. I'm like, oh, I think this is too rude even for me. Okay, have you drawn that? Yeah. Continue? Yeah. Now, um, if you want, I, I didn't write it here, but if you want, I, I call them field lines. You can also call them flux lines, like in the definition. So it might not be a bad idea if you write in your diagram flux lines. Yeah, Weber, Weber. Weber. I'm not sure how to say it really. What would you say, Weber? Weber. I don't know because there's a there's a brand of uh, the dictionaries. Drills. Of what? Like a charcoal drill is called Weber's. Ah. Oh. Wee, W-E-B-E-R. Okay, I call them like Weber's. Well, let's see. Anyways, now. Here is the Earth's magnetic field. Um, the Earth also has a, the Earth has a magnetic field. Uh, what you have to be careful about is, although we call this the North, it's actually well, there's that too. But although we call it the North, it's actually the south end of the magnet of the imaginary magnet in the center. Why is it the south end? Well, if you had a magnet and the North points north. It must be because at the other end there's a south. Yeah. So the magnet is, uh, is upside down. Does anybody know what is the cause of this magnet? There's obviously not a real giant magnet in the earth. What is it that is causing this magnet? Do we know? No, not gravity related. Something else. Not to do the rotation, no. Something to do with a material. It's the iron core. Yeah. yeah, the Earth's center is a liquid iron, molten iron. And this iron has a magnetic field. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure how the iron got the magnetic field. Because, you know, if you have a piece of iron, you can turn the iron into a magnet. But usually you need another magnet to make the iron become a magnet to begin with so uh, I don't know it's a uh, the earth's core is not very well understood there's some features about it that we don't quite understand yet one example is believe it or not that it's possible for the magnet inside the core to flip around yeah, yeah. And it, has done that it has done that a few thousand years ago no actually Maybe million, yeah, maybe not thousands. The, the magnet has flipped around. Now you might say, how can we know in the past that's flipped around? There's a very cool volcano um, where the lava was coming down very, very slowly. And as the lava was coming down, uh, I think there was some iron mixed in with it. So the iron became magnetized. But as the lava was coming down, at the same time, the Earth's magnetic field was flipping around. So if you take a compass at the top of the volcano and put it on the hard lava, you'll see it points the, the wrong way. Yeah. 
and then as you move down with your compass you'll see it starts to slowly turn so you can actually see the earth's magnetic field as a record changing in the, the lava from the volcano so it has happened could happen again probably will happen again don't know when uh, there's no real apart from your compass being the wrong way there's no real issues with it it might confuse the birds because some birds can actually yeah. pick up on the magnetic field so they might think they're heading north but really they're heading south it's not a big problem uh, uh, sometimes yeah why does like why are the poles north and south and not in the equator or whatever i, I think it's because the magnet is caused i think there is a little bit of rotation in it so you have the iron core and um, maybe because the way the earth spins the iron core is rotating and it causes the magnet to run perpendicular through it i think this is also the reason why maybe they don't line up perfectly you know if you can kind of picture a ball kind of wobbling inside of a another ball you know it's not going to be a, a perfectly straight thing yeah. why, why are the why is the arrow the opposite way in the last diagram why is which one because in the last diagram. oh this is north Oh, okay. And the so magnetic like field goes from north to south. Oh, yeah. So although this is uh, called the north of the earth, it's the south end of the magnet. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you draw this in your notebook? <laughs> but you know what's funny? There's no, there's no such, there's no such thing as up or down on the globe. Yeah, like, what is down? If yeah. You look no, but what, what I, but, but what I mean is like, <laughs> there was. The map could have been the other way around. Mm -hmm. it, it could have been upside down. Why did we write it like this? Well, I think it's more to do with the fact that the north, the northern so. hemisphere colonized the world before yeah. the southern hemisphere. So when you ever make a map, you're, you're always going to draw it. your yeah. half and the top half. But if it was the other way around, then our maps would be upside down. Mm. Downside down. Or yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> And it looks really strange to look at a map upside down if everything is flipped upside down. Mm. Mm. Uh, okay, can you draw this diagram in your notebook? Easy peasy, yeah. Mm -hmm. The magnetic field is actually a very important feature of the earth yeah. uh, for sustaining life. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, wouldn't it be like Armageddon doomsday? It would be. It would be. It would be bad, but I, I don't know if it would be doomsday bad. It'd be pretty bad without the magnetic field because it gives us a lot of protection from solar flares. Where are you? I don't think so. I think it was too far back. Um, any so. like a human, like not human, but like living species. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. There would have been, there would have been, uh, would have been life. It's possible that it happened before birds evolved. I think birds are probably the most affected by it. I'm not 100 percent sure of the date. Yeah. Um, anyways, as I was saying, the magnetic field is important for life on Earth. Uh, we'll see later why it gives us some protection from the sun. Okay, continue. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, earlier in the definition, I told you that if you move a current, a charge, which is a current, you can actually cause a magnetic field. Here's an example. Here there is no current. Oh no, we'll get to those <laughs> yeah. in a moment, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here there's no current flowing. But then the moment I turn the current on, you notice that you get a magnetic field around it. And actually the magnetic field is a nice uh, circle. So basically if I have, uh, I don't know, like if I have a charge, let's say this is a positive charge, okay? You know there's an electric field around it, right? Uh, what direction is the electric field? Is it inwards or outwards, do you remember? Outwards. The electric outwards. field is outwards from the mm -hmm. point charge, yeah? What's also very interesting is when I start to move it, 
not only do I still have the um, electric field, all of a sudden a magnetic field appears around it. And then as soon as I stop it, the magnetic field has gone. Which is quite, it's quite interesting. As the electron moves, it generates a magnetic field. Uh, as the proton moves or whatever. But the moment I stop moving it, the magnetic field is gone. And you can see that in this experiment with the current. As soon as I turn the current off, then the magnetic field is gone. Yeah. Um, do your best to draw this in your notebook. Got that? Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how can you make a magnetic field? Well, you can actually use this effect to make a magnetic field. If you take a, a wire, copper wire, whatever, and you wrap it around in this shape, uh, does anyone know the name of this shape? Well, a solenoid is the kind of the name of the whole object, but this this shape, what's the shape called? Spiral. Oh, the technical name, not the kindergarten name. Magic happy spiral? What, does anyone know what this proper science name is for the shape? Ah, not a vortex, no. Ah, come on, you do know it. I know you know it. begins with a H. H? Oh, like the same as the uh, IDN, it's uh, ooh. the same as what? You said helical, like helix. 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 Well, you and I might have DNA, but he could have uh, <laughs> ADN. I have the Spanish version. That's it, yeah. Right, it's the, the shape is called a helix, H-E-L-I-X, if you want. Anyways, if you wrap your copper wire into a helix shape and uh, pass a current through it, using the effect here, you can make a bar magnet. And this would behave exactly like if you had a regular north-south bar magnet here. It has this, more or less the same field lines. But what's really nice about this magnet is you can turn it off. Because what happens when the current stops? The magnet is gone. Okay. Now, can you think of any situation where it's useful to have a magnet that you can turn on and off like this? Rifle. Rifle would be one, maybe. Something a bit more boring, though. A door? Safety door? Oh, like a locket mechanism. Yeah, that could be one, yeah. Think about a junkyard. Oh, yeah, for separating metals. Yeah, when you want to lift some metal up, you can use a magnet. Big electromagnet. Big electromagnet. Then you turn the magnet off to drop it. Okay? So, this way of making a magnet is called a solenoid. Now, 
actually you don't need it but often people put a piece of iron inside here iron core. an iron core I think it makes it more efficient but technically speaking you don't need that uh, you could just have it like this so I need you to draw these now now it's important guys it's important you get the direction of the current correct the current is coming in here and out here can you see it's coming out here it's going in here This is strong enough, but we can give it a try. Uh, um, have I got anything to wrap it around? Or these pens? I have something metal would be best. Oh, metal. To wrap it around? Yeah. Oh, actually, why not this? Yes. Let's see if I can make a magnet. Strong enough, but it's worth it's worth investigating, huh? Oh no, actually, yeah, no, maybe. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, I need something metal to. Coin. Yeah. I think coins are not fair. Yeah. No. We got key, maybe. stick to it. It's not strong, but we got anything that's smaller metal, like a little little piece of metal. No no like it like like the key, just oh, something yeah. smaller. Like a little little piece of metal. Let's see if I could pick something up. Like a paper clip would be perfect if anyone has a paper clip. Maybe I might have something. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll take a... Why can't we have anything small and metal? Here, I could try this. I'll try this. Might, let's see if I can use this. Right, let's see if I can move it. Um, no, this one's not. The key worked better. I don't think it's strong enough to move it, though. Let's see. Too weak. I need a stronger battery. Oh, okay. Anyways, trust me. I can feel it uh, having a little pull on it. Uh, obviously, my helix is not uh, a good shaped helix, but it actually, I'm surprised it even works a little bit. All right, let me put this back in. Um. 
It's not the battery that's a, the problem. It's my helix that's the problem. I can make the I can use the same battery and make the magnet stronger if I have it wrapped yeah, more, wires. more times. So I've seen There's some. A with that, isn't there is, yeah. I've seen someone use. I'm not joking. They've used this battery and they wrapped this so many times that they made the magnet so strong that they could hang from the ceiling. Um, so it. I mean, it's nothing to do with this. It's to do with the the number of turns on this here. Uh, more turns means you can make a stronger uh, magnet. The only problem is though, I think the more turns, then the hotter it gets. Yeah, more resistance. Yeah, more resistance in it. So if it gets too hot, then it will snap. And of course, if it snaps, then there's no more current. Mm -hmm. You know, so the balance here. Okay, did you draw that? Yeah. So I think what we'll do, yeah, we'll just wrap it up there and then we'll continue the magnets next time.